All right, hey guys, it's Davis. We're gonna be doing a box opening today of Modern Horizons. Camera's kind of weird, but it's still sealed. But we're gonna cut it all right open right now. Opened up a lot of boxes in my day. So let's get to it. Now, there's still a bunch of value, good value in this set. Mythics are still worth a lot. Running six, there's a Lord, High Artificer, Force of Negation, and Prismatic Vistas are the ones we're looking for. The uncommons, there's not really anything worth too much in the uncommon slot, but we got one of these uh, Nutrient Peatlands, which is like 850. So that's one. Nether Spirit. I don't think this one's worth too much. Did we get any cool foil? I don't think we did. Can't open these. So we got Mike here today. Man in the operation. Behind the, behind the camera. We got a foil Genesis. Which I don't think for is worth too much, and misty miss something Naga. I can't read it upside Missing down. It. Nothing too wild. What we got here Altar of Dementia is one of those one of those cards that's worth a little bit of something. Uh, let's see. Uh, how much is this card? I'm just curious. It is about two fifty, three dollars maybe. Oh, I made these packs easier to open. I'm just opening it like a dummy. All right, foil, nothing serious. Oh, remember that card? Can't play that card anymore in anything fun. down make the rare suspenseful yeah we'll do the rare last it's at the front of the pack Ooh, got a prismatic vista art card that's neat i'm not really into these ones but it does look cool but we got a mythic our first mythic um morophone morophone the boundless i don't know if i'm saying that right but that's about 12 to 13 bucks right there Got Ikoria coming out soon, so maybe we'll do some box openings of that, see if there's anything cool in that one that's worth something. Or is it out already? I don't think it's out already, right? Uh, I think it's just out online. May 15? I don't know. But yeah, we got this card. I just know I've been drafting it on Arena. But we got this card. Winds of Abandon. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Let's go to the next one. These cards. Gotta save your dessert for last. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bunch of cards, nothing too fancy. Not nothing span, nothing fancy. But that bear deck and commander is pretty cool. hide this card here all right what do we got this foil and a waterlogged grove all right Alright, let's hide this rare. Ooh, this is worth something actually. Generous gift? Yeah. I think it's like a two or three dollar on common foil. It's probably worth something better. And 
Merit League. Alright, what do we have here? Let's put that one to the back. Let's build the suspense. Not sure what this card is. Does it say it on the back? Winds of Abandon. Winds of Abandon. Future Sight. Oh, got it. Should I pre-open these for you? Nah, that's fine. I should have did it before we did started. All right. Jesus. I don't know what this is. Throw Throws of Chaos? Throws? Throws. <laughs> throws? T-H-R-O-E-S? Yes. Okay. Like if you're your death throws. Yeah. Uh, big brain on Mike. <laughs> And Kyle Guile. What's that bad boy do? Alright, this one is choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard. Create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token. Or gain four life. Or you can pay three to entwine. I think they do all of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, played, I haven't, I haven't paid an entwine cost in a very long time. <laughs> Got a foil bear token. And then oh, this is Bizarro. Bizarre Bizarre Trade Mage? Yeah. Okay. Font small. Alright. That's it for the uncommons right there. You got fit factor fiction. Can't read this upside down. Talisman of hierarchy. And some commons. And then Fallen Shinobi. That guy's seen play, right? Uh, probably in Commander with all the Commander Ninja decks. This wall of one thousand cuts. Take a look at these uncommons. Settled Mariner. Card's good. I know this card's seen play. Maybe some human decks, I think, but it's been a while since I've played some modern. But it... all right, this is answered prayers. The Seb McKinnon one. Do we have this one in a metal print that we had at shows? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one looks cool blown up on, on metal prints, which are pretty nice. And then Dead of Winter. That card's good. What's it do? Uh, yeah, it's a three mana, two colorless black. I was seeing if it was worth anything crazy, but it's nothing. It's not worth too much. It's worth the dollar, but it does see play. A lot of commander. I think it sees plays in like modern. But, but uh, all snow, non snow creatures get minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of snow permanents you control. Alright, let's hide this rare. 
Ooh, we got foil bird token. And then Sisse Weatherlight Captain for the art card. Goblin and Orphan. Talisman of Creativity. Talismans are nice because they all go into the commander decks. And I think these talismans were only are like new additions. Because I don't recall seeing these before, but those are always popular in Commander and maybe Legacy. It's been a minute, hot minute since I played some Legacy. But our rare is Endling. Which has a bunch of text on there. Pay a swamp, give it menace till end of turn. Pay a swamp, give it death touch. Pay, pay a swamp, gains undying until end of turn. Or colorless, gets one, one, plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one. Token and these cards look cool blown up. Ravenous Giant is for the art card. Squirrel Nest. Spore Frog. That was a high highly sought after card and then it got reprinted. Now it's plentiful, but if you find the old version of that card, Spore Frog Foil is still worth something pretty pretty uh, chunky. Ooh, we got a mythic here. Right off the weight. We got blown up Hogak. Pillage. Fester of Fools. I can't read upside down. Yeah, Fester of Fools. Weird. Yo, Feaster. Yo, Feaster. Can't read upside down, man. Uh, Sling Gang Lieutenant. That card's good. What is this? Looks like Siege Gang, right? Enters the battlefield. Create two red, red, red one... One goblin creature tokens and sacrifice a goblin. Target player loses one life and you gain one life. And our rare is Ranger Captain of Eos, which is a good card. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost one or less. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And then you can sacrifice Ranger, and your opponents can't cast not creature spells this turn. A lot of powerful stuff on that card. Ooh, we got a really good rare here. Something Zelfrin decoy. Guy and a zebra. Yeah, it's a guy and a zebra. I think it's like a decoy. Was it decoy in the name? Yeah, probably just take. Have to attack it. Have to block it. And we got a force of negation. It's a good rare to pull. Plus, he's a lot of play in the older formats. But I'm assuming commander for free counter spells are always good. We got a foil spell shaper, spell shaper token. Ooh, we got Sarah the Benevolent, full art card. Talisman of Resilience, generous gift. That's a good on common. I mentioned earlier, which we pull the foil. Then we got Force of Rage. Not Force of Negation, but I like this card a lot. This card's pretty cool. Is it competitive? Maybe. But I just like it. What's it do? Uh, it's an instant. Three mana. If it's not your turn, you can exile a red card from your hand. You can put two, three, one elemental creatures into play with haste. 
and then you have to sacrifice it. So you can surprise, surprise block, but you can also get aggressive with it and attack. All right, let's get these out of the way. Ooh, what's this? Rebuild. Matron. Oh, here's that decoy. I'm just curious what it does. Tap target creature, activate this ability only if you had a creature enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Totally not what I thought it would do. I think it's better. Ooh, shenanigans. That's what the card is. That the name of the card? That's the name of the card, Mike. It's a pretty good card. And Force of Vigor, another good card. Which it's a free. Uh, you can, if it's not your turn, you can exile a green card from your hand instead of paying the mana cost. You can destroy up the two target artifacts or enchantments. Real good in modern legacy, especially in modern. You can play with the dredge decks and you know get away the get get rid of those pesky leyline of the voids. Just to prove it. Shenanigans is real. Okay. Good card. Was it got dredge on it? Yeah. Take a look. What's our art card? First Slivers Chosen. And we got a Foil Shelter. I think Foil Shelter from the original printing is worth something. Ooh. Nimble Mongoose. And our rare is Ayula, Queen Among Bears. I haven't tried to build that bear deck yet. It seems pretty fun. Just haven't gotten around to it. But bear Lord. Okay. We got a foil illusion token. And then we have a big caterpillar. Chiller pillar is what it's called. I mean, a munitions expert, this card's cool. I know there's like a combo with this card in the format. Not sure what it does. I just think you can deal a bunch of, probably making a bunch of tokens on the board and then just finishing them off with that card. Has flash, the 1 1, enters the battlefield. To have it deal damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of goblins you control. Oh, it doesn't deal the player. Not as good, but it's still cool. I like goblins. Astrolab. On Earth. Okay, this was a good pack. Good commons and uncommons. And then our rare is Reap the Past. Read Reap the Past real quick. Return X cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. Exile, Reap the Past. Red, green, and X. All right, we got, ooh, we got Full Art Ayula. Air Lord. Wall of Blossoms. Okay. Tribute Mage. It's one of, that's one of the better uncommons from the set. Ooh, Lightning Skelemental. I like this card a lot. I'm a sucker for anything ball lightning. And this is red, red, black, trample haste. Whenever it deals damage to target player, that player discards two cards. And then you have to sacrifice this guy at the end of the turn. 6-1. Two of my favorite cards. Has lightning and ball lightning on it. And some sweet art. Yeah, sweet art for sure. Can't get it. Yes, I got it. All right. Ooh, foil squirrel token. And then what is this? Smoke shroud. Talisman of curiosity. Good card. Good card. Right. Revelation. Guild of light. Trumpeting herd. Defile. Mother bear. 
Azra Smoke Shaper, Minotaur Guy, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Phantom Ninja, Goblin War Party, and our rare, Aria of Flame. There's some cool cards, cool decks with this in there. It deals a bunch of damage. When I think the Storm decks in Modern have been playing this. At least they were. When Aria of Flame enters the battlefield, each opponent gains 10 life. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a verse counter on it. Then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player planeswalker. So yeah, it looks like I think that goes in the storm deck. You just play all your cards, play them, play them again with Past and Flames, then you sh shoot your opponent for a million. Four of these. Ooh, we got a good rare here. Ooh, Spinehorn Minotaur. We got Rebuild. It's a good one. Theros of Chaos. Firebolt. Big Firebolt fan. Magmatic Sinkhole. Right. Phantasmal Form. And our rare is Giver of Runes. One mana, one white mana for a 1 2. Another target creature you control gains protection from a colorless. From colorless? Or from the color of choice until end of turn. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a mother of runes. Exactly like a mother of runes. Is it like mother of runes, though? No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know what that card does. You might want to bring it up. <laughs> is it a card? Yeah, yeah it was uh, one of the unsets. Is it a new one? Art. No, no, it's, uh, uh, I think, the first one. I know I've seen it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've seen this one. Definitely seen it. Ooh, we got a Mythic. All right. Got Goblin Token. Plague Engineer. Full Art. Snowland. Soul Hoarder. Rune Ocean. Rider. Baron Moor. For our uncommons. And we get any of the good commons here. We got Arkham's Astrolabe. Astrolab? Can't read it. Lab. Lab. Ooh, Pondering Mage is cool. All right. Ooh, we got Chiller Pillar. <laughs> There's our boy. There you go, Mike. You can have it. Lava Dart. And our rare is Echo of Eons. Let's do a quick mythic count. See how many we've gotten so far. We'll flash all these rares again at the end. So this is our third mythic. I don't know what the average is in this box. Hopefully we can crack some more. I'm just gonna throw every chiller pillar towards you. I'm ready for it. Ooh, we got a real good mythic here. All right, we got silent clearing for the full art. And then we got a foil fairy seer. Dismantling Blow, it's a good card. Talisman of Curiosity, another good one. And Glacial Revelation, Trumpeting Herd, Rocks Veteran, Weather the Storm, Winter's Rest, Bellowing Elk, Ransack, Smoke Shroud, and Goat Nap. Something else. Alright, Mike. I have, a, I have a mythic here. Is it the Chase Mythic out of the set? Uh, sure. How much do you think that card is? Uh, it's 45. Wrong, 75. We got to run in six. So if you need a run in six, we got you. Might even have more here. So it, this card was banned in Legacy. I believe it was. So can you explain what it does? Because I feel like I... Now I'm a, I'm a simpleton when it comes to magic, and I feel like I look at that card and I don't get why it's that crazy. Well, it, well first we'll read it off. It's red-green planeswalker. comes in with three loyalty counters. You plus one it. Return up to target, up to one target land from your graveyard to your hand. Ren and six deals one, or minus one. Ren and six deals one damage to any target. Minus seven, you get an emblem with an instant, with instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard have retrace. And retrace, I believe, is you discard a card and you have to pay the mana cost. Let's, let me see here. Let's see if I can get an oracle text because it's been a while since I've had to retrace something. But yeah, uh, what makes it really good is that it's just a value engine. Uh, 
you can redraw your land. So like in modern, you could replay your fetch lands, which is very good. Uh, commander, I don't know if it's good enough. Commander Planeswalkers always kind of struggle, but uh, two mana Planeswalker is still really good. Uh, what makes it really, it can also kill creatures in modern, like Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch, which have one toughness. But what makes it really good in Legacy, which I'm pretty sure it got banned, is because uh, you could return, you could play this on turn two and re return a Wasteland from your graveyard and just start blowing up all everyone's lands. That in a combination with Stifle, which I don't know if you know what Stifle is, mm -hmm. but it's a blue instant. It counters it a trigger, abilities. counters a, tr yeah, it yeah. counters an ability. So there's a lot of fetch lands in modern. So you can counter that fetch land ability. So they lose that land without getting the land. So see. and all, of your, all the legacy decks play like sixteen lands, eighteen lands. Maybe some of them they play more, but a lot of them trim a lot. But good card. Seems like it'd be not fun to play against. That's probably why they banned it. All right, next pack. We got a foil elephant token, and we got a dredgescape sliver for our art card. Let's get these other ones out of the way. Oh no. Drop my water. Talisman of Creativity. And Ravenous Giant. And Fountain of Icor. Icor? Icor. Mike is digging out the Chiller Pillar full art. Just gotta stick with his buddy. And our rare is Bizarre Trade Mage. Flying, enters the battlefield, draw two cards, and discard three cards for three mana for a 3-4 with flying. It's pretty good stats on that body. And the important keyword is wizard. Wizards matter in commander. Because you can play cool command. You can play cool cool commanders like a zombie and just draw lots of cards. Which is the zombie reads, tap a wizard, draw a card. Alright, our next art card is Watcher for Tomorrow. And what we have Vengeful Devil is our uncommon. Haste Morbid. So when something dies, Vengeful Devil deals one damage to any target. Activate this ability only if a creature had died this turn. To any target? Yeah, it's probably would get real good and limited. Uh-oh, got Chiller Pillar. Keep that off to the side. And our rare is Hall of Generosity. It's another good one. It's a land, legendary land. Add add colorless to your mana pool, pool or uh, pay one in white, and you can return target enchantment card from your graveyard to top of your library. Good card advantage. There you go, Mike. Thank you. Plain old soldier token. Ooh, we got a full art goblin matron. First slivers chosen. Web weaver changeling. Battle screech. That, this card used to be worth something before it got reprinted in this set. Very good in popper. Two colorless, two white. Create two one one white bird tokens with flying, and then you can flash it back if you tap three untapped white creatures you control. So. You can flood the board real quick with that card. It's a pauper all-star. And it used to be pretty expensive on common, because I think it was out of judgment. And Spore Frog. Ooh, Chiller Pillar. Ooh, Lava Dart, it's a good addition. And our rare is Astral Drift. Does this have cycling? Whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So yeah, uh, whenever you cycle that or cycle a card, you can blink something, which is pretty powerful. And we got cycling back in this new set, so maybe you can actually have enough cards to build a better commander deck. Or make something work in modern. I'm not smart enough to do that though. Okay. Ooh, we got a mythic. Not one second. All right. Give me 
matron and that token. Then we got a plain old illusion token. Ooh. We got throat seeker coming down for some throats. <laughs> Can't even see either. He's got like a handkerchief on his head. He's wearing it the wrong way. All right, goblin overflames. Ooh, we got a throat seeker in the pack. Ooh. Unblockable attacking ninjas you control. Have lifelink. Had to read that upside down. <laughs> Or frog and our mythic. Let's see what we got here. We have seasoned pyromancer, which is a very good card. Saw some early, saw a lot of play early on when it first came out in the modern Jun decks, along with Renin Six type of card that those mid rangey decks like to take gain additional value by drawing cards, and it still has an ability out of the graveyard where you can. You know, get some dudes out of the bit, create some guys out of it, but also just drawing cards is very important. Especially for a deck like John that just wanted to sit there and grind you out on value a lot. Just trying to look up the price on it because I'm not sure what it is. It's, it used to be worth a lot of money, but there it goes. Yeah, so it's about 15 bucks. We got a foil rhino token, and then we have headless specter for a full art card, and then we got a foil headless oh, specter man. to match it. Oh, yeah, it's... Ooh, crashing footfalls. That's our rare. I forgot to do that last, so the suspense is over on that one. Just a couple of rhinos. Just a couple of rhinos. Crash of rhinos. Urza's rage. Elvish fury. Nature's chance. Shelter's good. Fist of Flames. Yeah, I've always liked these types of Rhino cards. There was a card, it's in Modern, I think it was in Time Shift, but uh, I saw it in Jun a long time ago in Modern, which was really cool, but as a way to grind value where you paid three, put a 3-3 three, three Elephant in the play, then had Flashback. I think these types of cards that can help green play a longer game is pretty good. And two 4-4s four, of Trample is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, let's get rid of our foils here. And I want that foil chiller pillar. I might have opened one earlier before we started memeing on it. Alright, foil soldier token. What is this? Lesser Manticore. So covered island. Got lava belly sliver saddled. Rhyme stag. And wing shards. Got another astral lay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can read. Spell snuff. Fiatino sand sprinter. Recruit the worthy. And our rare is spiteful sliver. Sliver creatures you control have whenever this creature is dealt. Damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Alright, we have two packs. Plain old zombie token. Oh, we got a Sword of Truth and Justice full art card. Then we have, can't read this, uh, Vesper Lark. Flying when Vespa like leaves the battlefield, return target creature card with power one or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Evoke for two. It's kind of like Revlark, which is kind of cool. Excludes good. Counter target creature spell. Draw a card. What's this card? Conifer Worm. Pay four, gets XX until end of turn. X is X. Number of snow permits you control. Prohibit. Defile. Full top. Under have the Specter, Nimble Mongoose. I don't know if those Legacy decks are still playing that, but the card was all over the place when I used to play. Goat Nap, and then our rare, pretty good. Uh, it's just a land, but Silent Clearing. Can't ever get too mad at these cards that cycle. They're really good. And we have one rare, one pack left. Let's see what we got here. All right, 
wait. <laughs> All right, Goblin Token. Then we have a Enduring Sliver. Snowland. Eyesight Golem, which I really like that card. Which is just one snow mana for a vanilla 2-2. I like that card a lot. Prohibit. Igneous Elemental. Winding Way. Unearth. Scour All Possibilities. Fist of Flames. Enduring Sliver. And Moonblade Shinobi. And our rare is going to be Deep Forest Hermit. Awesome. Three colors for two. It uh, puts some uh, it put squirrels in the play. Yeah, it does. So it has Vanishing Three. When it enters the battlefield, create four one one green squirrel tokens in the play. And then all my squirrels get plus one plus one. Good use for those squirrel tokens, I guess. Yeah, we have like one foil. Uh, man, we should go through and try to find more chiller fillers. I think we got them all. I don't know. I think we didn't look through this bottom half. But we'll go through the rares real quick. Pull up these mythics that we pulled. Oh, I guess we got a decent amount of mythics. But yeah, so we got Deep Forest Hermit, Silent Clearing, Spiteful Sliver, Crashing Footfalls, Astral Drift, Hall of Heliod's Generosity, Bizarre Trade Mage, Giver of Runes. It's a good one. Aria of Flame, Lightning Skelemental, Reap the Past. Getting all messy here. Ayula, Queen Among Bears. Force of Vigor. Force of Rage. Force of Negation. It's a lot of forces. Yeah, I can got a Goblin Engineer. <laughs> Endling. Dead of Winter. I don't think we got any duplicates. No. I think we got like two Fallen Shinobis, but we haven't gotten there yet. Unsettled Mariner. Fallen Shinobi. Gaia, Kaya's Guile. Future Sight, Merit Lage Slumber, this one's not a rare, but this is a good uncommon, Generous Gift Foil, Waterlogged Grove, Ayula's Influence, Winds of Abandon, Hogak, Arisen Necropolis, Altar of Dementia, we have a Genesis Foil, Mist Syndicate Naga, Naga, Nether Spirit, Nutri Nurturing Peatland. Those are our rares. Not bad. I don't think we got any duplicates. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we got a Force Negation, which is really good. And let's take a look at our mythics here. We got Seasoned Pyromancer, Renin Six. Echoes of Eons, Morpho Morophon the Boundless, and Ranger Captain of Eos. So, pretty good box. We got we got the mythics we were looking for. These three. We would really like to see an Urza in here. Because that's the other chase mythic after Ren and Six. But these are all pretty good. But yeah, should we look for Chiller Pillars? I think they don't forget we got the, uh, the final... Chiller pillar count of. Oh, okay, yeah, we got to do a chiller pillar count. Do you ever look through here? I, I did not. Look at that top half. We're going to chiller pillar, chiller pillar, look for search real quick. All right. Chiller pillar. I don't think we got any foil snowlands either, which is a bummer. Or foil astrolabes. Those would have been nice too. What do the snowlands count as? Like, uh, would it take the place of like a rare or an uncommon slot, or just not? No, it's just uh, it just be a, the probably the foil spot. I don't know how it works, but you can get foil ones. Like the old Colt Snap ones used to be worth a lot of money, but I think they still worth are still worth a good amount, but not as much since the reprints. And man, no children pillars. So you've you've played a bit of the uh, Ikoria stuff. How are you liking it? Uh, it seems cool. I like it. I got to play a lot more. I got to lose a lot before I get good. Been losing a lot. Been winning say, a lot. I was watching some of the streams near. You're, you're doing your job losing a bit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's mostly been just draft anyway. Yeah, so. it's just drafting. You got to learn the cards. 
How do you feel about all the uh, the Godzilla uh, themes of? of uh, the I like it. Godzilla's red. Uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. I mean, Chiller Pillar is basically basically Mothra. In yeah, that's what it looked like. I was like, wait, is this Godzilla cards? Maybe they were. Did you look at the stack? No, yeah, I looked at the stack. Yeah, man. So what's the Chiller Pillar count at right now, Mike? Look, it's three and one. Full arts. So yeah, if you want some Chiller Pillars, uh, if you have any Chiller Pillars at home, we'll take them. Ren and six, who we got Chiller Pillars for days. Yep, only three Chiller Pillars. Wow. Chiller Pillar one, two, and three, and full and full art card. All right, well, I think that's it. Uh, we'll probably be opening up another box sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in if you did. And if you're interested in any of these singles that we open, especially the these chiller chiller pillars. Pillars. <laughs> those, those aren't for sale, those are mics. More of the Boundless, Echoes of Eons, Ranger, Captain of the Eos, Ren and Six, and Season Power Mancer, or this full generous gift, or Force Indication. Hit us up, we got them. Yeah, they'll be on uh, pastimes.net. We'll be putting them in the system later today. Um, you can always shoot us uh, an email at info at pastimes.net. Um, just let us know in the comment or in the uh, subject line that you're looking for um, some of the packs that we opened. Um, yeah, and we'll probably be doing more of this a little bit uh, later in the week then. Yep, thanks for tuning in.